everyone. It's Patrick from WP Builder Helper again. Hoping you guys are having a great week. So guess what? I finally got my system built. And as a matter of fact, I had to take and get everything back up and running. It was a pain in the butt. But I resurrected my long dead project, which is the Oxygen and WooCommerce project that I was working on, where I was trying to make a survival website. So we're going to do that today. We're going to work on this survival website and see how much further we can get in it. So the purpose was to make like a WooCommerce and Oxygen survival website that we could take and we could put together and we could use as basically like a, a, a template if you would so that you could kind of start your own thing if you remember correctly we had set up all the shop pages we had done all of that so we were kind of taking and we were going to start looking at a couple of different things so this is what the website looks right and looks like right now which basically it's garbage there is some weird things going on with the navigation i noticed it's i don't know if it's because it's just I don't know it's weird we were using a default layout of this WP sandbox and obviously the colors don't match nothing matches we're not worrying about that just yet we wanted to find something so the idea was to make a survival website but a survival and WooCommerce website so I guess let's go and let's go into an incognito window and let's see if we can't figure out like let's type in survival websites and see what we have so this is a prepper website that comes up as number one I just want to see what they look like get an idea of their whoa of their color scheme and things like that you can see they do have a cart so that this is kind of essentially what we want to do is some kind of survival website picking up tools they do face masks they do a lot of different things so I'm just looking at their layout and just seeing. I know this is an off the grid is uh, off the grid dot com is a is a pretty big website. This guy does a lot of different things, but this is more uh, preparedness. It's survival too, but it's preparedness. But I was trying to see just what they're selling, like Ultimate Survival Guide. Okay, yeah, survival websites. So this is just a straight. Um, survival type thing but I was trying to see so they do a lot of ads they do some ads as you can see um, he's got some brown colors the other guy had some some blue let's see what this survival mom is what does this look like well that's kinda cool that's that's neat the way that she's done this um, yep so this is like a survival mom it's very open and white and uh, huh interesting so as you can see we're kind of building a brand similar to uh, all of these like survival life all of these different websites so the purpose is to basically build a website um, that's similar to this where you can go here but I want to be able to actually have a page where you can buy stuff that would be the goal so almost like almost like this but I want to be able to, when you go to gear or something like that, you're able to actually buy gear. He is just doing a blog, it looks like, because it's got some do-it-yourself. He's doing this. He's got a lot of different things. He's doing prepping and things like that. But almost all these websites are pretty white. There's nothing that's really um, special about them. They're, I mean, I guess the, the one survival website stood out to me more than than any of them but they all look exactly the same I mean they all look like they're, they're just built on a on a template um, oh that's cute infected page nice love when you have ads that are infected so I mean this is this is interesting like this one looks at least a little bit different than the rest because it's got the sidebar and it's got the stuff that you can buy. None of them have shopping carts. I'm surprised. I would think that, you know, having some kind of um, shopping carts. I guess the reason why is because most people aren't going to sell their own stuff. They're going to sell it through Amazon or whatever. So, in essence, you can do that. But I found out from uh, one of the other people that I watch 
that there's different ways that you can you can kind of sell. So we've got some ideas. I kind of like this color scheme though. I like these these colors that he uses. It's more of a camo, you know. It's more of like the colors of this of a gun, um, stuff like that. It's interesting because it's those colors do invoke a in, in, uh, feeling of uh, you know trying to survive. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what we can do just using these ideas. So we've got some ideas. Most of them are very basic. They don't use anything that is too standard, I would say, among the survival blogs. So ours right now, what we have is we have a we have cart page, checkout page, all of this. So it's it's oxygen and WooCommerce, but we're gonna build a survival website off of this. So next what we would have to do is let's start with the actual um, blog page. So we'll call this like the main page, I guess. Oh, and I ran into an error with WooCommerce, I believe. Let me see if I can fix this. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So apparently there's an error that happens with oxygen. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's actually oxygen that's doing it. Um, I wish I could see the error. It won't let me see the error. I wish there was a way to hide this. I don't think there is a way to hide this to view the top bar. Um, yeah, I don't see it. So I was trying to go back to see if I could figure out what which plugin is causing the error. Um, don't have that many plugins turned on because there's only so many plugins. But you can kind of run into this. So let's deactivate rank math. Let's say other. Just deactivate. Let's see. Is rank math causing the issue when you do a new page? New page. Nope. Uh, see and it blocks off before I can see the actual error so it's it's not allowing me to see the error because if that's the case I mean I could continue but I don't want people to get angry and say well you know there's nothing you can do but there's some it says like the gallery tab let me click on it again um hmm there's something, there's there's something, I wish I could see the top of this, but there's something, I'd have to go back in the video and actually pause it where it is, but there's something going on with this where it, it comes up. Now the funny thing is I could still create a page. Let's see if it messes with anything. Let's publish this page, and then let's try um, with oxygen. Let's try editing and see if it gives me any errors inside of the actual oxygen builder because if it doesn't then we can continue but if it does then I'm gonna end up having to maybe pause the series until I get some help with someone and it looks like it actually doesn't so then this works this is perfect so it'll allow me to do what I need to do so from here we're gonna kinda build out the page so kind of ignore that for now I'll probably submit that as a bug report or something. I'm not even sure if it's oxygen. I really, like I said, I'm going to go and have to pause the video and see what plugin or function is causing it. It may even be something with Gutenberg that's causing it, but I'll have to look at it and see what the problem is. So from here, we're going to want to go into our helpers. Where is it? Um, we're going to want to go into basic blocks. And we can just add a section and then from here we can add usually you can add in like a there's there's a main content section that you can add if you really wanted to I don't think we're gonna do that I think instead we're going to um, make this into a like almost like a blog page so let's see what the library's got the library has lots of different design sets. So we're looking for like a blog page. Something that's blog-like. And we'll go to, see th these are all blog elements. So, but we want more of a like recent post. So that's really what we're looking for is like recent post. Because that's what we want people to see 
when they land on the home page you saw a bunch of people were they already had recent posts and stuff like that and that's what I think that people are looking for on some of these survival websites I think the masonry is probably either the masonry or the simple blog is probably the two closest but I'm going to take and I'm going to look through other blog sets that they have so let's look through here let's see blog this is kind of this isn't bad that's that's just straight blog post Hyperion okay so they've got some articles here recent articles so that's split that's more of a you know let's see do they have anything that's close to let's try this blog so this is like a you know generic this is this is pretty close I don't know let's look at this and see what this looks like so this is the top post so this is two sections eh. Eh. it's not my favorite it's yeah it's it's just not my favorite I don't like this layout at all it's, it's not my favorite layout I'd rather um I'd rather use something else just just yeah doesn't work for me let's see what else they got so I think you know let's try marketing agency a lot of times marketing agencies have yeah still not my favorite I think that first one if I'm if I'm really being honest the I think it was the SAS no 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 it was the atomic so atomic has a lot of really good sets it looks like I think something like this would be the best and even though we don't have any blog posts that's why this isn't showing this is really what we want we want that masonry style blog post setup where when people come here they can kind of see the blog post and everything like that because that's mostly what they're coming for we'll also get rid of this because I don't see a point in it and we'll get rid of this and it's not just going to be blog post obviously I'd like to have like a, a hero image of some sort at the top so we could go in and we could add that so let's look for headers heroes and titles and we probably want something that is going to invoke I don't know something something that stands out like almost like that for the hero image it's kind of weird because it doesn't match but that's okay and we'll go to structure let's move this so it's above it let's put it above Oh, well we could just move this down I guess or is it not let there we go so now that's above it so they would they would run into this and once we get our survival obviously this would have a survival picture above it you know and there'll be something up here that will say to them like I don't know this may turn into some kind of ugly slider that people use I feel like it'll be a little bit smaller not as big and then they'll go straight into the blog post and stuff like that we're also going to need a couple of other pages so let's continue with this and uh, let's go back into WordPress and yep we see that this is still here hey, yay and like I said later I'll take and I'll I'm gonna dive into it and try and figure out why that's coming up obviously there's some issue with this as to why it's doing it but we'll need a contact page that's pretty big with Google right now if you're gonna make any kind of affiliate page you're gonna need a contact page for sure so and we can just grab a standard generic contact page for this we don't need to kill ourselves doing anything crazy so the purpose would be let's grab a contact let's grab a contact page that we have let me see let me make sure um, we'll go into library reusable let's stick with atomic well I think we use the hosting let's try the hosting because this was hosting maybe it's got a contact page that matches I actually should have looked there for the blog and it kinda did have a blog post 
but um, that's all right. That's not a big deal. So we want a contact page. So what I think works as a contact page is something with minimal information, but yet gives you enough information that the person's satisfied. So I like this. And obviously you can add a contact form in here. We probably should add a contact form in here. Um, but right now we're not going to focus on that. It was just about building a contact page. So we'll save that. And from here we're going to go back into WordPress. That and so we've got our contact page, we've got our main page, and let's go into WordPress and actually set the main page. Um, let's go into our settings, and I think it's reading, and let's set our home page to our actual main page. So that way when you view the website, you actually see the main page, which is what we want, which is perfect. Um, so that's exactly what we needed. Now, colors don't match. We're going to work on colors and all of that. We're going to work on the logo. We're going to work on all of this, essentially. We're also going to get rid of most of these pages because even though we do want a shopping cart, we don't want a shopping cart that's like this. We, I mean, most of the website is not going to be a shopping cart. So we're going to have a blog page. We're going to have the main page. We're going to have the home page. We're going to have all of that. But we're, we're going to have, it's going to be different. Like there's going to be a single post page. So I guess we can take a look at that too. Let's look at our templates. So right now all we have is a main page. page. We're going to eventually do one for a blog page also. So we're going to move forward with that. And I think for right now that is as far as we're going to go. I'm going to try and research this before the next video and see what I can come up with and hopefully I can take and come up with something that works where it doesn't screw up and it doesn't have that error. All right? Thank you and I'll see you guys next time.